do beasts do. I don't, I don't want to just look like a beast. I don't want to talk like a beast. I want to have beast paraphernalia. I want to be a beast. I want to be in beast mode. I want to do what beasts do. And so I, I, and so I told him yesterday, it was the weirdest thing. I, I was reading the story about the lion and gazelle, just like you. I was reading the study. I was reading it and I was studying. I would, I would read it over again. I would study. I was examining. I would, I, I would pull back and, and I would digest the story. I'm going over the story over and over and over and over. And I'm looking for, I'm looking for that thing. I'm, I'm looking what, what makes a lion a lion. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking because if I can find out what makes a lion a lion, I can help you turn that switch on. Because we all have it. That switch is in all of us. It's in a high school dropout. That switch is in someone who was homeless and ate out of trash. That switch exists in all of us. And I knew if I could just, if I could, if I could turn the switch on and if I could teach you how to turn that switch on. And so I'm reading the story and I'm asking myself, okay, Eric, what are the similarities? And the similarities are every single day in Africa. Woo, I love it. Every single day in Africa. I love it. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference if you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, I love it. If you're a gazelle, you wake up with this notion that I must outrun. I must outrun the lion if I'm going to survive. Listen to me. I don't know what, what your business is. I don't know what you're trying to do personally, but there's something you're going to have to outrun. Every single day when you wake up, something you're gonna have to run. For some of you, it's alcohol. For some of you, it's other substances. For, for some of you, it's depression. For, for, for some of you, it's your past. For some of you, it's procrastination. For, I, for some of you, you, your inability to stick with something, to, to, to start and finish. For some of you, you can't execute. I don't know what it is, but every single day, like that gazelle, you're gonna wake up and boom, you're gonna have to run from something. That's something you're gonna have to get away from to survive. And that's all the gazelle is doing. He's running from the lion. Because he's trying to survive and, but, but but what's weird is though that is that even though the lion is considered to be one of the most ferocious animals one of the, one of the most dangerous animals one of one of the kings of the kingdom that when the sun comes up in Africa that that that, that the lion has to do something too even though it's great even though he's great the gazelle's not gonna come and just let him eat him up he's gonna have to chase that gazelle down He's gonna have to kill that gazelle. So, so when I read it, that, that's the similarity. That if it doesn't make a difference if you're a gazelle, it doesn't make a difference if you're a lion. If you're at the top of the game, you still gotta work. If you're at the top of your game, you still have to grow. If you're at the top of your game, what I know about you, if you're at the top of your game, there's still room for improvement. You can still get bigger. You can still get better. You can still be bolder. If you are still alive, there's still room for growth. There's still room to grow and be better. And so it says, it doesn't make a difference in the safari. In Africa, it does not make a difference when the sun comes up, boom, you better get to running. And so I studied, I said, what's the difference? What's the difference? And I noticed, I noticed that the gazelle is running and I asked myself, what's the difference? And I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. The gazelle is running, the gazelle is afraid. The gazelle understands that if it does not stop running, or if it stopped running, it's going to die. But I watched, I watched it long enough and I saw the gazelle stop and I said, ooh, I get it. It's not being chased. It's not being pushed. It's not being prodded. And some of us in this room, if we don't have a reward, you're not self-motivated. You're not self-regulated. You don't have that thing inside of you that pushes you. That alarm clock still has to get you up. Why? Because your passion is not waking you up. Your passion is not getting you up. And so I saw it, I said, ooh, the lion does not need to be pushed. The lion does not need anything external. That thing that it needs is inside. And so every single day, the lion wakes up and he runs and chases the gazelle. Why? Because he realizes that if he is to survive, if his kids are to survive, he must eat. And so you gotta do me a huge favor. You gotta do me a huge favor. You gotta get to the point well, you don't need a car anymore. You don't need a house anymore. You don't need to be pushed by anybody anymore. Your dreams, your wives gonna push you. Your spouse is gonna push you. Your child is gonna push you. The need to get better is going to push you because you're closer than you're ever going to be. It's gonna push you. You don't need anything to push you. Your goals are gonna push you. Your dreams are gonna push you. The, 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 the opportunity of a lifetime that happens in this particular time frame is gonna push you. You. It's going to drive you. It's going to make you better. So do me a favor as I leave. As I leave, you can't be average anymore. 70%. You can't do it. You can't do it and have what you want. 
You can't give me 70 and be what you want. You can't give me 70 and do what you want. You can't be average anymore. You can't be good anymore. 80%. You can't be good anymore. 80% and have what you want. You can't be good at something and have everything you dreamed of. To make your dreams become real. To no longer dream them but walk in them. You can't. 90%, you can be good, you can be good, you can be great, but you still won't get it all. I'm telling you, but when you become phenomenal, there's nothing you can't have, nothing you can't do, nothing you can't be, and I just, I believe that you're in this room right now. I believe that we're in the same space right now. I believe we're all in this place together. Listen to me, I believe that we're all in this place together because all of us, all of us hate average. None of us want to be good. And for those of us who reach greatness, we have a desire to push past greatness and see the phenomenon of the We all get knocked down in every aspect of life. You're going to fall flat on your face. You're going to be criticized when you come out into the arena called life. You're going to feel awkward and stupid and dumb sometimes, but it's okay. It goes with the territory. You got to get messed up sometimes. You got to get dirty. You got to get your feelings hurt. You got to get disappointed. You got to get told no. You going to ask somebody for some money. He going to tell you no. That's just dirt. See, you get tripped out because you got dirt on you. But you need dirt on you to develop. Because dirt ain't just dirt. Dirt is fertilizer. Dirt is nutrients. Dirt gives you the strength for your seed to push through. See, you gotta have dirt on you to push through something. Everything you see that's beautiful starts out as a seed, but that seed got to get dirt on it. See, you get mad when haters come your way. You get mad cause you get a setback. You get mad cause you get thrown off course. You get mad cause you get a detour. That's just dirt. You get mad cause they talking about you. That's dirt. You get mad cause you, you lost your mama. That's dirt. But show me something that has grown into something beautiful that didn't have no dirt on it. You got to have dirt on you to grow into what God got for you. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You have to learn to turn and look at every obstacle as an opportunity. You gotta get gritty, man. You gotta develop some dog in you. Life is gonna throw some serious blows, some body blows, and they go hurt. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's gonna take its place? Success. No pain, no gain. Pain has a purpose. Don't go through it, grow through it. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize. I challenge you to push yourself. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit during the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all.